The stars are brightly shining, it is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining, <clears throat> till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, O oh, hear angelic voices. <coughs> Welcome and hello to the Good Info Cafe, uh, December 20th. 20th, uh, 2018, and um, with the shofar knocked down today's walls of Jericho, we the people worldwide, <clears throat> excuse me, I turned on the, the camera, so I have to clear my throat, scratch my face, you know how it is. So um, today the subject is frequency, intensity, and duration, it's part of the IFLAP, part of the Information Literacy Action Processor, which is the CPU of this channel and it really is CPU for the world for critical thinking. It's a CPU for critical thinking. And frequency, intensity, duration is one of the concepts uh, from the IFLAP, I-F-L-A-P. Um, and then I'm going to show, that's the house that I grew up in from fourth grade to college and then on and on after that. Um, the question of the day is, is the most common use of the words Jesus Christ and God in secular society as an exclamation? Is that the most common, the most uh, the, the time that you hear the, the words Jesus Christ or Christ or Jesus or God <clears throat> as part of using it in vain, but also using it in wonder? Is that the most common use of those words in secular society? That's my question. Um, and then I'm going to grade Christmas music, and, and I mean more the traditional. <clears throat> I haven't heard too much in the last 10 years that matches up to the traditional Christmas music, but I'm sure it's out there, and so I'm not one to think just because it's older or whatever that it's better. It's just a matter of hearing it because it's based on ears and sound and emotion and goosebumps and feeling. So maybe the most recent one that I'm aware of is um, Mariah Carey's song. Um, I'll think of it, but no, yeah, that's it. You, you got it. Um, and, uh, and I'm giving it an A plus for Christmas carols, Christmas music gets an A plus as a grouping of music, the traditional from way back, uh, Oh Holy Night from 1847, I think, French. And man, some that are older than that. Silent Night is in the 1800s, possibly. You let me know. One French, one German. Um, and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the fun songs. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, I'll think of his name. Gene Autry. Um, probably the, the classic. That's the classic version. And, um, and then the, uh, the one that... Um, Okay, so A plus, uh, white Christmas, because when you have a white Christmas, it means you have snow, because snow is white, and that's why, and then, oh, and baby, it's cold outside, that's a great one, two people going back and forth with the sexual tension and the, and the relationship tension, it's an awesome song, and, uh, and, and people love that song. It's great because that's the meaning of it is, are we going to stay inside? And the man is trying to convince the woman and she's not sure and her mom and she ought to get home. Just a wholesome, beautiful song. So all Christmas music gets A+. plus. All the good Christmas music, obviously, and some that I don't even know. So you can mention if you know of anything that's within the last 10, 15 years. I think Mariah Carey is like 20 years ago. So the reason why I did Oh Holy Night at the beginning <clears throat> is as a preview because, and that's why I'm in here, I set up to sing the full Oh Holy Night with some messages that I would be dropping the messages. So I hope to do it as soon as possible, 
but I'm picking up my daughter at the train station and my wife is sick at work but wants to stay and so I have to bring her some medication. So I was hoping to do it today, but all that just came up and daughters and wives and family and son and all that comes first. So I don't know if I'll get to do it tonight. Um, but I would love to because I'm picking up my other daughter at college tomorrow and then not coming back until Saturday. So I might do one on the road. I'll be doing two of them on the road. So if I can get this recorded before I leave tomorrow, then I'll have my oh holy night. <clears throat> oh holy night. And then uh, fall on your knees. Oh hear angelic voices. Oh night, divine, oh night, when Christ was born. Oh night, divine, divine, oh night. Oh night, divine, truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love and his gospel is peace except for the second coming. It's not going to be peace. He wants peace, but it's going to be because of the resistance, and you have to defend yourself and all that. So it is ultimately peace, but uh, second coming is as a conquering Messiah, conquering king, um, Lord of Lords and King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Um, so... That's hopefully I can post it tomorrow. That would be tomorrow's video because we're getting into Christmas Eve is Monday night. Very close. So I'd really like to record it. And, um, and then, oh yeah, this is where from age four to college and then on and off after that, I went to the University of Maryland, then the University of Miami and then back to the University of Maryland, travel around the country. It also had a little, uh, pillars here and a little uh, fake um, porch and um, so there it is it is what it is uh, this was awesome my father a doctor uh, my mother a uh, homemaker and then uh, got her master's in women's studies and then had a clothing boutique where Linda Tripp told Monica Lewinsky to go shopping on the transcript when they were recording their phone conversations that was in Newsweek Newsweek magazine. My mother was, no, my God. And, um, and, uh, so she also worked and, uh, so that's what they provide. A lot of great creature comforts. Um, you know, other areas, um, was not, uh, privileged to have something like this in, uh, in another area, but wonderful creature comforts. So that's the house that I grew up in a very much a deep state neighborhood. So if this is the house right next door with president of IBM Federal Division, right next there is the one who absolutely knows where all the bodies are buried. Friends with a lot of people that you wouldn't like. So, but I think he's a good guy. And then William Webster, only one ever to be head of the uh, Judge Webster. He's still alive. Last time I checked, 95 or something. Head of the FBI and the CIA. And it didn't have an exit. It just had one, two entrances. And the Beltway was the backyard. Um, just, and then when he moved out, IBM moved out. Great guys. Just talked to him a month ago. Um, and I was like, you were... So many in the neighborhood were part of the CIA. And he goes, yeah, I did my CIA time. I said, oh, what was it about? He said, I'm not telling. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, that's what that is. Um, so did I get everything? Oh, frequency, intensity, duration. Frequency is how often, 10 times, 5 times. Intensity is how hard or light. And then duration is how long. Those things are different. And when you're critically thinking and analyzing things, you can think about the frequency, intensity, duration, and that will give you good information. Uh, just turning off that text there. And um, I know time's coming up. So 10 times in 10 minutes or 10 times in 10 seconds, and you did it really hard or light or both, that kind of thing. Uh, <clears throat> 
Chains he did breaks, no slave, my sister, brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy, in grateful chorus raise we with all our strength. We praise his holy name. Christ is Messiah, forever, ever praise thee, O night. Preview for when I do that with my cards.